I'm um, and I'm back with another front row talk podcast, the podcast with expensive opinions. I'm back with episode number forty nine, forty nine episodes in, almost fifty. Uh, before I even get to this video, <clears throat> make sure you guys subscribe, you like, you comment, you share this video. Uh, make sure you guys check the description so you can see the link on my Instagram and the TikTok. Um, yeah, I already noticed. I say this every episode. Make sure you guys subscribe though. We're 28 <clears throat> subscribers away from hitting 100 subscribers. So, you know, I appreciate if, you know, you guys get to subscribe and clicking the button. Um, and yeah, before I even get into this episode, make sure you tune into last episode where I talked about um, the pros and cons of having a private life. I gave my uh, opinion on that, like I do in every episode. And like I said, I only thought there was only one con, you know, to having a private life. So make sure you check that video out and every other video on the channel. Uh, as you guys can see by the title, um, I'm doing a would you rather, a personal would you rather. Um, this is definitely a topic that's better with um, doing it with somebody else because you get multiple opinions. But, you know, I, I thought I'd find it would be fun if I do it myself. And if I'm not mistaken, um, I think I used to ask certain people who I brought up here, like certain would you rather questions. Um, it's been so much episodes that I really don't remember. But um, yeah, I got a total of about like eight would you rather questions, you know, and I'm gonna give my opinion and why, you know, I feel like it's probably some insight on, you know, j just so y'all can see where my, uh, my mental is at, where my head is at, um, how certain people say. So to get straight into the first one, um, I don't know which one to start off with. I'm going to go from top to bottom. But it says, would you rather find your true love today or hit the lottery next year? Um, that, that's something I something I had to think about because I don't know. It's not something I have an immediate answer to because hitting the lottery next year. Damn, I'll we'll find my true love today. That's that's pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, damn, that's that's tough. It de it definitely has me thinking. And the reason why I say it is because you know if I find my true love today, then I don't gotta worry about you know going through any more like <clears throat> heartbreak or any like meaningless meaningless situation. But then it's like if I hit the lotto next year, like I'm gonna for sure hit it. But then it's like problems come with that. More money, more problems, so, damn, damn, I don't know. Now, you know what, I'd rather find my true love today. I'd rather find my true love today, so I feel like, I feel like that area of my life is already, like, you know, boom, it's, it's, it's sanctioned. Um, I wouldn't have to, like, try to, like, look left or right, try to, like, you know, because I feel like we all get to a point where we do want to find somebody or whatever the case may be. But if I feel like I, if I, feel like if I choose the lottery, then it's, like, of course, taxes is a thing, but then it's like you got a lot of people popping up in your life, and then it's like, you know, you might have people call you um, fake or whatever the case may be. I'd rather get myself in a position to where, you know, I'm wealthy instead of hitting the lottery because, you know, don't get me wrong, the lottery would solve a lot of things, but I, I feel like, I feel like if I do win too much, I feel like if anybody wins too much money, they might get to a point where, like, you know, they don't even know what to spend the money on and then they start splurging, you know. And it's different when you have that money in your hands, you know, than when you don't. So I feel like when you do have it in your hands, like, you know, you, you won't do whatever you have to do. But it's like you still have so much more. So then that's when you just start, you know, and then just you, you have a lot of people around you who don't really, you know, are not really tied in with you and not really serious with, you know, with the friendship that they have with you. So it's just a bunch of. So, yeah, just to answer the question, I'd, I'd find my love today. Alright, <clears throat> by the way, I have it on my phone, I have it on my notes. Number two, be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade. God forbid for any of these, you know, this is just hypothetical question. But coma for a decade is, is crazy because it's like, if I be in a coma for a decade, that's a lot of years. I'm like, nah, I'd rather be in jail for five years. I'd rather be in jail for five years. I can't be in a coma for a decade. That's too much. I feel like by the time I wake up, you know, probably family members might be gone. It's going to be like it's too much. I feel like if I'm in jail for five years, you know, I'm going to still go through 
you know, jail-like things, you know, but I still feel like I, I'm taking that risk. I'm going to jail for five years, coming home, probably come back home stronger, of course. Probably, you know, some people go into jail, come out, you know, just appreciating things more. So I'm definitely taking the five jail, the five years in jail. All right, number three, um, would you have universal respect or unlimited power? I'm guessing by universal respect, it means like, you know, People respect you all around, and then unlimited power. You guys know what that means. Um, I'd rather have universal respect, cause I feel like, once again, like with money and power, I feel like once you start getting too much power, you know, you start doing things that aren't you. You know, just because you know you you capable of doing anything in a sense. I feel like with unlimited respect, I feel like you could go anywhere, and you know, nobody would try to disrespect you. Or nobody would try to test you or your morals or whatever the case may be. Or your loved ones. So I feel like universal respect is definitely a go um, for that same reason. Now to the next one is would you rather give up air conditioning and heating for the rest of your life. Or give up the internet, internet for the rest of your life. See that's crazy. That's actually tough. Because it's like heating and, and, and the AC is important. Because it's like especially you know. I live in New York. When it's hot, it's hot. When it's cold, it's cold. So, but then it's like internet. That's why like, I got upload these podcasts. I feel like that's where, you know, without the internet, you can't really do much nowadays. I, I feel like that's what we depend on. Sadly, you know, that's what the world came came to. But see, I'm gonna finesse my way out of this one. I give up AC and heating, right? Nah, damn, that's tough. For the rest of my life? Nah, that's actually tough. By the way, if you guys want to answer these, you know, definitely say them down in the comments. But, damn. AC or internet for the rest of my life? And I don't, I don't want to pass on these. I definitely want to answer it. Each and every one of them. Um, I'm not going to lie. I want to say internet and just disappear. Like, not disappear, but you know what I'm trying to say. Just really live my life, like, off the internet and put that aside. Because, you know, that I feel like after a certain age, that's really it really means nothing. Because giving up AC and heating, like, imagine, especially if I, if I move to a place where it's, yeah, no, no, no. I might give up the internet. I'm not going to lie. Somebody, you may have to reach me, I don't know how, but I'm giving up the internet for the rest of my life. Now to the fifth question, uh, would you rather be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? I've I've gotten this one before, Um, I've answered it before, but clearly not on camera. 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? Um, damn. 10 minutes late could probably, I'd rather be 20 minutes early. Cause like you could scout things out, wherever it is. It could be, cause it could be ten minutes late and you can miss your flight. Ten minutes late, you can miss a cruise. Ten minutes late, you can miss anything, a job interview, whatever the case may be. If you're twenty minutes early, I feel like you're there in time. Clearly, you're twenty minutes early, and you don't miss out on whatever opportunity it is. So I'm definitely gonna go with the twenty minutes early. Now, with the other one, is, it says, would you rather have a pause or rewind button in your life? I definitely will have a pause, pause button, cause I rewind. I don't feel like I need a rewind for anything. The past is the past. Um, now, of course, I'm saying that now until there's a situation where, I, where, I, see, now that's actually tough, cause now I'm thinking about it. Rewind will probably save me from a lot of things, like things that happen, and then I just rewind, you know, just choose. But I feel like a pause button would do that at the same time. But then it's like if I. See, I'm thinking about it now. If I if I pause it, right, it's, I'm gonna have to unpause it eventually. So if I unpause it, it still may be the same scenario. Um, damn, that's actually tough. I'll rewind. I'll rewind. I'll rewind. But not to know, not to fix no like past problems, but to to fix key things like, you know, like me falling or whatever the case may be, me injuring myself or you know saving somebody, whatever the case. I definitely pick rewind. Um, cause you know, I could just do things differently, you know, and it'll definitely be a different outcome with that. <clears throat> and last but not least, 
would you rather lose long term memory or short or short term memory? Um, this is a question. This is the last question. I feel like it's a good question because I have a great memory. I, I remember a lot of things. You know, I don't forget things. So, but lose long term or short term? Damn, I don't know. And it's like I'm forced to answer it quick because I'm not about to be here for 10 minutes, you know, just letting the record button go. Long term, long term or short term? Um, damn, that's hard. That's hard. I feel like because if I lose short term, I'm not going to remember anything that happened in the past 10 minutes. But if I lose long term... I'm not going to remember things from the past, so it's like, damn, I don't know. I might have to leave that up to y'all. I'm not, I don't know. I can't really answer that. I know I said I'll answer each and every question, but that one's too tough. Definitely let me know what you guys think about that one. Um, let me know if you guys rather lose long-term or short-term memory. Um, Yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely did it, you know, just a fun uh, episode, you know, answering these questions, <clears throat> but definitely I would like to do this with a group of people just to see where everybody, um, mindset is at, make sure you guys subscribe, you like, you comment, you share this video, make sure you guys subscribe, subscribe, so we could get to that 100 subscribers, um, and yeah, tune into the description, tune into the TikTok, to the Instagram, it's your boy Salsita, and I'm out.